When you're having paper pickup issues on HP OfficeJet Pro 6900 printers, um, what you want to do is make sure that your first the paper is in there um, and that it's where it's supposed to be. So here we have a mark of 8.5 by 11 and that's where my paper is supposed to be. Um, and that's usually something that you already have taken care of. So now we're going to pull the paper out unplug the printer and we will put the printer on its side like so and open this drawer this is the paper pickup roller on this printer and if your printer is trying to pick up paper and it's not doing so just go ahead and clean these rollers. I usually can clean it with some paper towel and uh, either warm water, a window cleaning solution, or uh, alcohol swab. Um, or just put some alcohol, rubbing alcohol on a paper towel and that works just very, very good. Um, and if you need to replace this, for example, if the gears are broken over here and when your printer is trying to pick up paper, these won't even uh, spin then you can just replace if you can find one online sometimes we sell them whenever we have some in stock uh, if we took some off printers and we would list them but that's not going to be an always case of course so um, in any case if you just want to uh, take the um, pickup roller out and try to fix it or try to replace it it's held by only one screw over here and a T T10 screwdriver tip is what you'll need so now it's set free here we will pull those towards us to get them out of place here now it's released on that side there's another area that's holding it right here Pull that towards and kind of push it down there now it's out of its just be careful there's some grease on here that you don't want to take out um, and then it was basically um, this is what you need to put back into the slot that's there you'll be able to see it and um, either after you repair it, don't lose this spring right here. This is how to replace this one. So in order to put it back, we're going to find where it goes and see that white slot there. So it goes right there. So, and the snaps in. Six on this side. And it's back in. Make sure you put this back in where it's supposed to go, like so. Take out this in there. So that's how you replace the pickup roller. Uh, for the paper pickup roller on the document feeder is this one here um, also if um, the paper is not fed through here if it just stops too much has too much uh, air every time you try to sc uh, scan or copy from here you just want to open this the rollers are right here
and you would want to clean these two. So there's these rollers here. Um, these are in very good condition, of course, because there's only about 10 pages printed on this printer. Um, so these are the rollers that you would need to clean. Sometimes they accumulate paper dust or ink um, that comes off of documents since you're scanning pages um, with ink on them already for toner. So that's what you'll need to do. But if in any case, this is also broken, if you want to replace it, the replacement process is simple as well. What you do is you just, uh, this tab right here, you just push it towards out towards you and push it to the left. That sets this roller free. You can see here. And then, I'm going to try to show you with So basically what you do is there's a tab right here. What you want to be careful with is there's springs here that are going to be loose when you take it out. Um, you, you just don't want to lose them. So you're going to pull this spring, uh, uh, this clamp right here. You're going to push it out. Sorry, my hand is in the way. And then just pull this one like this. Pull this in there. That spring stays there. This is the order that it's supposed to be in at. So there's this spring here. And the, there's a white spring that's loose without this one. So this, this is what the pickup roller looks like for the uh, document feeder. <clears throat> to put it back in, just make sure you have this in order. So now to put it back in, it goes like this here. The spring goes into this area. like this here and then we're going to put this rod in here and to fix it in place just going to move it to the right and just fix it like this here so now the the roller should be good to go if you're replacing that but to clean it, um, like I said, I would use either a paper towel with some cleaning solution on it or just a swab, alcohol swab that's already soaked with alcohol and just clean it like this and rotating it as you go. Same thing with the bottom one. And if you've used this for about 500 pages or maybe even a hundred pages, you you will see that it's a different color that it accumulated already ink um, dust on it. So you'll see the difference when you're going to start cleaning it. Um, hope this video helped you. If it did, please like it, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Have a wonderful day. Thanks.